Hey everybody, this is Nelson Fernandez for creativecow.net. Welcome to my first tutorial. First of all, let me say thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Before we actually get to it, it would be good if you have at least a basic knowledge of After Effects. If you don't, I suggest you take a look at some basic After Effects training from the Cow website. There's a lot of good stuff in here. You'll be given a pretty good idea what After Effects can do. Oh, other excellent resource is videocopilot.net, that is www.videocopilot.net, which is hosted by Creative Cows leader Andrew Kramer. Check it out. It's really worthwhile. That said, let's go and get started. One of the most useful effects, and still not much used, if used at all, is the Find Edges effect. This effect looks for color information within the animation and trace a line, hence the name Find Edges, around every different color. So what does that mean? Let's see it. After all, an image is worth more than a thousand one nights. Well, I think I got the wrong quote there. Well, it doesn't matter. You got my point, right? Okay, moving on. Let's start by bringing in the file. Let's go up to the File menu. Let's choose Import and choose File. Let's pick this color palette JPEG. As you can see, this is just a simple palette of colors, but notice that the transitions between the colors are absolutely harsh. That means there is no softening or feathering when one color transitions to the other one. That's very important to bear in mind. Let's drag the image into the timeline panel. Once there, the image will appear in the composition panel. Now let's get down to business, shall we? Let's go to the Effect menu, choose Stylize, and choose Find Edges. As you can see, the image turned white in a series of lines have been drawn. If you look at the Effect Controls panel, this one right here, you see that this effect has just two parameters, Invert and Blend with Original. Invert does exactly that. It inverts the colors that the effect produces. So what was white now is black, and vice versa. Blend with original lets the original image show through, so if you make it 50%, you can see the half of the original image showing through. So you must be asking yourself, what's this dude talking about? Well, I agree this wasn't the most exciting example, but it's perfect to show our goal. The important thing to notice is that no matter how complex is your footage, the Find Edges effect will always trace lines to show you the boundaries among all the colors. So, wherever you have two different colors, so do you have a line or edge separating them? Maybe you are thinking, dude, all of this talk just to show this? Patience, my friends. You will find soon enough how important and useful this will turn out to be. Now for the real deal. Let's import another piece of footage, shall we? We'll do exactly what we did. We'll go up to the File menu, we choose Import and choose File, but this time we will import a sequence of images. I'll explain why this particular footage. I was asked if I could do anything about the sky because there was a problem and the sky ended up not being rendered. Therefore, a gray dull color replaced the beautiful sky that was there before. Since the original planned rendering wouldn't need any type of mask, none had been rendered. So I had to somehow find a way to create a mask so that I could replace the sky for, well, a normal sky. Do you see where we're going here? If not, don't worry, just trust me. And the force will be with you. Well, not the force. Maybe After Effects. Moving on. Let's apply the Find Edges effect. Wow, do you see it? Our problems are solved. The important thing to notice is that every color has a line or edge surrounding it. If you scrub the time needle, yeah, that's how it's called, you'll see that the true for every frame how cool is that? This effect in itself is pretty cool. It's a painting, sketchy type of looking, but that's not why we're here, right? We're here to create a mask to the sky. Aye aye, sir! In this particular case, take the blend amount to 50%. You'll see why in just a second. So now we are going to use a very cool feature of After Effects called Auto Trace. Let's go to the Layer menu, and at the bottom choose Auto Trace. The Auto Trace dialog box pops up. The first session, or time span, defines whether we want to trace just the current frame or the whole animation. 
we want of course the work area, which is the current length of our animation. The next session is the parameters of the mask itself. And it's going to give us what we need. Channel lets we choose between RGB channels as well as the alpha channel. There's also luminance, which traces the mask based on the levels of gray of the image. Invert, we only invert the selection and that's all. Blur gives us a blur to the selection so that it will not appear harsh in the final mask, but that's not necessary for our purposes right now. Tolerance means how accurate the mask will be traced around the edges. The bigger the tolerance, the less accurate the mask will be. Threshold defines whether a mask will be traced around an edge. I'm sorry I can't be more specific about numbers here, but it really depends on the case. Minimal area defines the pixels that are going to be traced. The more pixels or bigger area you have, the less masks will be traced. Again, this needs to be worked out case by case. Corner roundness will only make the corner of the masks rounder, and that's all. Apply to new layer is very important, as the mask will be applied to a new layer, as the name implies. Otherwise, the base layer will have to be duplicated. Preview will let you see the results only for the current frame. For this particular case, the current settings are pretty good. So after effects it starts doing your thing, and depending on the complexity and length of your footage, this can take a while. Jumping ahead in time, we have our mask traced. If we scrub the timeline, you can see that all frames are masked. That's it, we have our masks now. Now let's go back to the original footage and delete the find edges effect. Now we need to have the track matte switches on. If we don't see it, just go to this button, toggle switch modes, and click it. The track matte column appears. Where it says none, choose luma matte. A luma matte uses the luminous levels of the layer above to generate transparency. As you may or may not know, white means opaque and black means transparent. Now the sky turned black, but that's just After Effects way of showing transparency. If you click the Show Transparency switch, you see that our sky has been removed. Now you can have some fun and replace it by a very good sky or pretty much anything you like. But the important thing is you see that we have transparent background now where previously we have a gray dull background. Just bear in mind this is by no means a perfect mask. A perfect mask would be the one generated by a 3D application along with the animation or using any kind of replacement technique. This is a quick method to generate a mask to fix a problem. Okay, that's it. So go there, have your fun, do your thing. I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I did. And I hope you have learned something and with somehow it will help you. Once again, this is Nelson Fernandez for creativecow.net.